Aloha, Michelle Melendez with Blossom Inner Wellness. And I wanted to do a video on programming and understand programming and what that is. Um, so many things are programmed. We program the computer, the television has programs that you watch. Um, when you go to a show, there's a program that you get that shows you what's, what's on the agenda for the night, um, for the evening. Programming, we have been programmed in society to believe things a certain way. And there's an agenda for that because have you ever wondered why the media constantly bombards us with fear stories, not um, happy, you know, happy stories, positive stories. I mean, once in a while they'll throw one in the mix, change it up, but most of the time it's fear. And here's the thing, it's con constant over and over and over again. I remember when 9-11 happened, and for three months, they kept showing the same video over and over again. And I remember after three months, I was like, why, why do they keep showing this over and over again? I was like, what? this happened three months ago. Why are they keep showing the story? And here's the thing. And that's how you hypnotize people. You hypnotize people by repeating things over and over and over again. And, and you hypnotize them with, um, elevating their emotions so uh, a fearful fearful person or an intense emotion of anger or sadness and intensity and then repeating a story over and over again that's hypnosis and that's programming so we have all been programmed to believe that our our, our way of life is the way that it is when um it's it doesn't have to be this way the truth is that we are we are light beings in a human body. If you go down to the cellular structure, you take a cell of your body and you go down below the plonk, which is extremely, extremely small. small. Um, it's, it's, you can't even really see it. And you, and you go to the very, very inner of, your, of who you are. There's light. That's all that's in there. There's space and light. And that's, that's who we are and what we are. And collectively, if we are programmed to think the same way over and over again, we manifest our way of being in the world. We manifest our world. So it was like, uh, I, was, I was teaching my class this morning, my Be Fit With Love and Pilates class. And you can uh, find that on my website. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna be 50 years old and I have cellulite on my legs. And I was saying, you know, we've been programmed to believe cellulite's not beautiful. What if we were programmed the other way? What if we were programmed to believe that cellulite is absolutely beautiful? How would women feel about their legs? How would I feel? I was like, how would I feel if I was programmed that way? And it made me feel really good. And I was like, I love my legs. Thank you legs for the millions of miles you've walked in my lifetime. And I have cellulite on my legs and I'm gonna program myself to believe that that is beautiful. And what that takes is repetition over and over again. And that is what is happening right now is so much fear is being bombarded with people and it doesn't have to be that way. We are actually way more powerful than that. Um, so collectively when, I mean, I remember when, uh, for example, 9-11, when 9-11 happened and the media kept showing the twin towers, I kept thinking after three months, I was like, why do they keep showing this over and over and over again? Three months of the same exact footage. It was horrible. And I was like, why are they repeating this? And I didn't understand. It's programming. It's programming to keep us in fear. And what happens is then what happens when we're in fear, then the media or whomever gives us a solution. And now we're in fear and we want out of that fear and we go toward the solution because we think <clears throat> that the media and the higher powers that be have our best interest in mind. And we think, yeah, let's do that. Let's go to war. That, 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 the, those, those innocent people, you know, on both sides of, of the fence, the, they're like us. It, was, it would be like, let's go to war. And then people come bombing, you know, my home. And I didn't do anything. Those innocent people, innocent women and children were, were, were murdered in that war. And they didn't do anything. It wasn't their fault what happened. So what I want to invite you to consider 
and to just explore for yourself the programming that you've been programmed with that you think of as right and wrong and good and bad. They're, they're, the programming that, that has, and I don't even have a television. I haven't had a TV in um, over 10 years. And I really love that. I don't know what shows people are watching and I definitely don't watch the news. Um, the news is nothing but a big fear programming of fear, of absolute fear. Once in a while, they'll throw in something positive, but uh, very rarely. And it's just to mix things up. So you get kind of get confused. Like, like nowadays, you know, with the um, shooting, shootings, and they're trying to take away the Second Amendment to bear arms. Why is that the only solution to this? You think criminals are going to give up their, their guns? No, it's going to be the good people who want to do the right thing for their community if they, you know, are said to, to give them up. But I would hope they wouldn't give them up because you have a right to bear arms. So our forefathers are the ones that actually had that in the Constitution for a reason, being the number, the second amendment, the first one being free speech. There's a reason why free speech and the right to bear arms are the first two amendments in the constitution there's a reason for that so i hope you're just asking more questions you don't have to agree with me i'm totally okay with that and that's fine but just take a look at the programming that you g give yourself every day what are the what's the programming are you running the program of fear over and over and over again if you are give yourself a break from it you know watch a funny movie the other day i was i was looking through my um i do amazon prime movies and looking and I was like I just saw all this witchcraft all this darkness and I know why it's there um the the darkness uh that's all programming because it's all fear it's all about fear and um and I was like I want something light I really want to feel happy and joyful and just peaceful in my body so I found this uh video in 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 can in Kante in chanted anyway it's a it was a disney and i don't even really follow disney anymore and there's reasons for that but uh it was a super cute movie it was a mexican movie uh animation um super super cute and um so it made me feel really good at, afterwards and so that's what i'm doing now i'm just always wanting to find movies that leave me lighthearted, a light-hearted film start programming that into my awareness and start to program that into your awareness. If you're tired of living in fear, stop watching things that show, tell you about fear. Let yourself, give yourself a break. You know, we are way more powerful than this. The sun is slowly moving across the sky no matter what's happening on the planet. Tides are running in the ocean. Plants are germinating in the soil. Honeybees are finding their flowers. Nature is still happening without a, a program. They actually, they actually have their own program, but it's just being, it's just nature. So I invite you to give yourself a break from the fear that is bombarded and always in our face all the time. It's not real. There's, there's nothing that's happening to you. Nobody's chasing you. No murderer is, cha murderer is chasing you <clears throat> right now. You know, when you're in fear in the house by yourself, and the movie and the, the news is on, turn it off. You're not being harmed in that moment. So don't let your body get into that stress, stress response of fear because of something you're watching. Watch something else. Watch You Got Mail. Get into the 80s. Watch Princess Bride. Watch something that brings you joy. And you're going to notice that things get a lot better in your life. We are amazing manifestors and collectively we do create the world. And um, collectively we can, we can find that peace. We can find that ease and that love again for each other because human beings really do love each other. They really do. They're really kind. We want to, we want that. We want that for each other. You know, there's a lot of anger and a lot of fear and that's what keeps people separated but we don't want to be separated. People love each other. You know, know your best friend you had when you were a kid or somebody that you really enjoy talking to. That's, that's love. That's who we are. We, we are loving beings that love and honor each other and want to connect. 
we want to hug. I remember watching this video of these kids and it said, the mom said, they haven't hugged in three months and they're going to hug for the first time. And these kids, they, they weren't even over 10 years old and they were laughing before they hugged. They were like, yeah, we haven't touched, we haven't hugged and we're going to hug for the first time in three months. And they hugged and they cried and they couldn't stop hugging. And that's who we are. That's what we are. We are connected, united beings that want harmony and peace for everybody. That's what we want. So let's start creating that. It starts with ourselves, starting to reprogram ourselves with peace, with love, with harmony, with the knowingness that we're always taking care of, because it's true, we really are. Sending you much love and much aloha from the Big Island.